Academy team and we are out in the wild today. Yep, we've come out to do some camping and a bit of photography and we're here to give you our recommendations on kit that you can get so that you can take your camera out into the wild as well. So what are we starting with Lizzie? So I think it is worthwhile starting with the bags. Yes, now I love this bag. This is the BP500 powder from Lopro and it's Probably a little bit over-engineered for what we need uh, at Dartmoor in June. Uh, it is actually designed for skiing and snowboarding, um, which means it's super water resistant um, and it's absolutely huge. Um, so you've got a big compartment down here, uh, which is holding all the cameras uh, we've bought uh, with us today. You've also got this big top compartment uh, for a uh, water bottle, for a uh, change of clothing. Uh, I have a full change of clothing in here as well as a waterproof jacket uh, and another layer. Uh, one thing I did really like is this whole accessory um, pouch on the top clicks off, uh, which was actually really handy uh, just for uh, things like filters and stuff. We were able to keep that in there. Um, of course, you have a really nice big camera compartment here at the back, uh, so back opening. And I do like back opening so that you're not putting like the back of the bag up against your back after you've put it down on muddy ground. Um, yeah. Nice big compartment, uh, double zipped with loads of room. Uh, what else did we bring? We've got a selection of cameras here with us, uh, all with different reasons behind them. So talk me through what we brought. Yes, so we've brought a selection of cameras with us um, which kind of suit everyone's needs really. Starting with the GoPro Hero 7 which is the small portable action camera. Now this is fantastic if you are predominantly going to be doing video but also maybe wanting to take some stills too. So fantastic for both. Really great if you want to do some vlogging of your trip or day away which is exactly what we've been doing and we've been taking some selfies as well. They're very handy. And if you're looking for something with a little bit more photographic oomph, maybe a macro mode, what have you got with us? <laughs> yes, if you want something a little bit more photography oomph behind it than the GoPro, I have bought with me my current favourite camera, the Olympus TG6. Um, so this is one of their tough cameras, so it's weatherproof, it's well, waterproof, shockproof, dustproof, freezeproof, pretty much English proof. I would say. Um, the perfect small compact camera to take out which covers all bases, especially if you're not sure if you're going to be going in the water or not. Now these cameras are quite small and quite light. Uh, the last camera you've brought uh, is neither of those things. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. So the third camera that I bought with me was the Panasonic S1R. Now personal reasons for bringing bring in this. I know it's not the lightest camera to be taking out with you, especially if you're going hiking for the day, um, but high resolution, full frame sensor, brilliant low light capabilities as well so fingers crossed tomorrow i'm going to get some awesome sunrise shots fingers crossed um and also weather sealed as well so you never know when you're out and about whether it's going to start raining when it could start off a really nice sunny day so always got me covered yeah the clouds are rolling in but we <laughs> did come prepared for that we did uh, yes so we brought this the alta rgm rain cover from vanguard uh, now we tested this out earlier uh, and it's a really good fit for the s1r what i like is rather than sort of your traditional rain cover which is just sort of a plastic sleeve with you know, drawstring holes at each end uh, you have velcro uh, to wrap around the um, front of the lens, the lens hood. Uh, you have tie down and Velcro straps. And then you have a thick, uh, sort of well uh, protected plastic here, uh, which is perfect. And it's nice and clear, and you can see all of your controls, you can see your back screen, and you were even able to look through the viewfinder um, without any problems. Yep. So, uh, highly recommend if the weather does happen to turn on us. Now, of course, with a sunset or a sunrise, um, you're not going to be hand holding, uh, which always brings uh, the question of what tripod did you bring? And you chose this one. I did, indeed. I have bought with me the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. Carbon fibre, small, lightweight tripod. 
It's got a ball head on it as well, so very versatile for the shots that I want to get. You can swap between portrait and landscape with ease, but also fits nicely into the side of the backpack that we bought too, in the little tripod foot bit that's in there. I love it, small lightweight. I'm taking all the weight in my camera. I don't really want a tripod that's heavier than my camera to take out with me. And you can always weigh the, the tripod down with your camera bag yep. um, if the wind picks up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah, now we're at camp now um, and not only is the GoPro needing a little bit of charge, uh, we also need to charge our phones yep. uh, so that we can uh, get the photos off the cameras uh, and onto social media. <laughs> Uh, so something I did bring uh, for us to charge stuff up, uh, which we have been using today, uh, is this power bank from Fijo. Uh, and this is the uh, their sort of tough pebble. And what I like about this is it's 15,000 milliamp hours, uh, which is a crazy amount of battery life. And we can use it to charge both the, the GoPro and the Olympus, and even the S1 can be charged uh, via its USB-C from this because it's just got a great power rating on it. They even very kindly provided us with um, lightning and USB-C for charging both of our phones. Perfect. Um, now it has a power indicator showing that we have used uh, quite a bit of it because uh, we have charged uh, a few things uh, through the day. Um, what I also like is it has a little torch um, which is handy uh, when you're in your tent and you need to quickly find one in camp you find your phone and of course you know it's going to last a while because it's a pretty big battery. <laughs> um, one other thing I want to talk about in the bag is silica gel packets. Uh, now we sell uh, big, really uh, quite thirsty silica gel packets uh, which are perfect for sucking up all that moisture that might get into your bag when you're uh, putting the cameras in and out. Uh, maybe if you don't have time to fully dry the camera before you put it back in the bag after a sudden downpour, the silica gel packets will just absorb all that moisture and keep your gear safe. Uh, you can find those at jessups.com or by visiting any one of our stores. One last thing we want to talk about, although you are wearing it. So I'm wearing a Koof hoodie. This one is designed with photography in mind. So not only is it a nice thick and warm hoodie for those cold summer nights like we're having right now, um, but I've got pockets big enough to put lenses in, small compact cameras, the off fits perfectly in this little pouchy bit but I've also got um, other hidden pockets and hidden things so there is a lens cloth on the inside of one of my pockets for cleaning the fronts of my lenses back to my screens also got thumb holes in my cuffs which I absolutely love I love that on a jumper and um, it poppers as you can see on the side just here and um, it poppers up into a pillow so it's the reason I brought it camping with me no need to lug a pillow around in my and bag you've got, either. you've got the sleep mask in there as well and I yep. can attest to its warmth because I wore uh, my one which is blue in Iceland uh, and that was uh, most of the time more than enough um, except when it was snowing <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have needed two if I was over in Iceland but so um, nice. that's, yeah. that's all we've got uh, for this video that's all of our gear recommendations uh, we hope you find this useful you'll find links to all of the products we have here in the description below you can also find them at jessups.com or pop into your local store and one of our experts will be happy to help on all of your camping requirements thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video give us a like and hit subscribe and don't forget that bell icon so you'll stay up to date with all of our latest videos thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye